Hey there, I'm Jordan, product manager for Sony's B2B camera solutions. Today, we'll be going over Sony's camera solutions for small and medium-sized productions. You'll see how simple, scalable, and intuitive our camera packages are to set up and to use. As you all know, COVID-19 dramatically changed how we experience everyday life, putting a physical distance between people and their places of work, education, worship, and more. Since then, video streaming and recording of events and services has become widespread, even as most teams and organizations return to in-person gatherings. For organizations looking for their first media production setup or simply seeking to expand upon their existing capabilities, our team at Sony is dedicated to giving your creative team the tools to dream bigger. Let's take a minute to go over the two packages we'll be introducing today. First up is our multi-camera control package. This setup is perfect for capturing multiple perspectives of recorded interviews, church services, podcasts, and commercials. Next is our wireless live streaming package. Production teams have used our solutions to live stream news events, sporting competitions, and others directly to streaming services. I'm super excited to share more about these intuitive solutions with you. Let's start with our first package. Our multi-camera control package allows a single operator to control up to four cameras with just an iPad. This can help you scale your productions even if you have a small team. Today, we'll be looking at a church production application that our team recently worked on. For this setup, we'll be using the following equipment to control and monitor our cameras. We'll use an iPad with the Sony monitor and control app loaded. Additionally, you'll need several ethernet cables, a USB-C to ethernet adapter, and a Wi-Fi router. With all of our equipment laid out, let's get started. First, you'll need to set up your Wi-Fi router, which is required to connect multiple cameras to the iPad. We recommend using a dedicated Wi-Fi router for camera usage only to ensure the best connection. The second step is to set up your iPad. Download the MNC app from your app store and connect the device to the Wi-Fi router using a USB-C to Ethernet adapter. To check if your camera and device are compatible, reference the chart on the screen. Also, ensure that your camera is updated to the minimum required firmware. If you need any more information about firmware updates, please visit the site on the screen now. The next step is to enable wired LAN, more commonly known as Ethernet, on your camera. I'll be using an NX800 and an FX6, but you can reference the on-screen chart to see if your camera is compatible. More information on how to connect your camera with Ethernet or Wi-Fi can be found in the description below. Having a wired connection provides more stability when monitoring multiple cameras. This is useful in large spaces, such as a church or auditorium, where you'll be having cameras spaced out around the room. The second connection method we'll be using is Wi-Fi tethering. I'll be connecting an FX3 and an FX30 to our Wi-Fi router using this method. You can use any of the displayed cameras with Wi-Fi. Using Wi-Fi tethering is useful when you have the camera on a gimbal, handheld, or will be moving around a lot. Wi-Fi may provide a less stable environment, however, compared to Ethernet, so it's best used when mobility is a priority. To complete the connection between the camera and Wi-Fi router, connect your wired cameras via Ethernet to the router. The last step to set up multi-camera control is to pair the iPad with the cameras in the MNC app. In the Connect tab of the app, toggle on multi-camera control. Your cameras should start to appear on the screen. They may take several moments to do so. If this is the case, don't worry, just refresh the page. Press connect next to the name of your camera and follow any on-screen instructions that appear. And voila, that's it. In just a few minutes, we've set up the entire four camera setup with just one person. Let's take a quick look at what this small but mighty setup can do. When we open the monitor tab, all four cameras appear at once. I can rearrange each view as well as toggle on overlays that can assist my exposure control. To adjust exposure, I'll just click into the desired camera and modify my settings. A great perk of using multiple Sony cameras is the ability to achieve consistent color. With all of our white balances synced up, I can use the S Cinetone profile to instantly bring the image to life without using any LUTs or post-processing. Another cool feature is the ability to control focus settings, which takes advantage of Sony's excellent autofocus tracking capabilities. One feature that many of our faith and event customers have loved is being able to connect cameras wirelessly via Ethernet. This allows production teams to have one camera on a gimbal for hero shots and speaker shots, as well as a static tracking shot of the entire stage. When I'm ready to record, all I have to do is click a single button. And there you have it, all four cameras rolling at the same time. 
Let's move on to our next package and explore how Sony's PDT FP1 enables creators to live stream while on the go. Historically, broadcasting and live streaming setups have required large crews, huge shoulder mounted cameras, and seemingly miles of messy cables. However, our live streaming package only requires a portable camcorder and a wireless receiver the size of a phone. For this setup, we'll be using the NX800 again, as well as the PDT FP1 5G wireless transmitter. The only other accessory that you'll need is a USB C cable and a SIM card. First, activate your FP1 by inserting a SIM card into the removable SIM card tray on the lower left side. The FP1's wireless connectivity via both eSIM and SIM cards enables maximum connectivity for Sony cameras, including functions like wireless image transfer, external monitoring, live streaming, and Wi-Fi routing. The second step is to connect the FP1 to the camera via USB-C cable. This allows the camera to access the FP1's networking capabilities. In your camera's menu system, turn on USB tethering and live streaming. Next, navigate to the streaming service of your choice on the iPad or your web browser on a laptop. Start a live stream and copy down your RTMP URL and key. These are credentials that allow the camera to directly live stream from your choice of live streaming services, a feature that helps simplify the live streaming workflow. Open the MNC app on the FV1. Under the connection method drop down menu, select tethering USB and connect your camera. Once connected, locate the stream button and enter your RTMP URL and key into the corresponding slot. Finally, on your live streaming service page, start the stream. Look at you. Just like that, you're streaming already. In a matter of minutes, we've created a portable live streaming kit that you can set up and break down easily in any situation that you can imagine. A core application for this package is single camera interviews. The small footprint and wireless connectivity allow you to cover outdoor events and stream footage directly to your viewers. These packages make an excellent choice for media teams with volunteers with limited camera experience, as well as teams that are looking to slowly scale up their productions. If you're interested in implementing Sony products into your productions, or would like to share your unique needs with us, please reach out to us via the form linked in the description below. Thank you so much for tuning into our video, and stay tuned for more related product and training content.